So what I'm going to do here is create three separate uh, Java projects in Eclipse. The first project um, is going to have my interface definition as well as the actual Pi calculation code. And then I'll have a separate project for the client and a third project for the server. So let's create the common code first. So I'm going to call this simple RMI common. And I'm just going to import from my existing project that I just showed you the interface. And then I'm going to tweak that to work with RMI. So I need to go to my file system. And that was in Pi Computer. And the files in particular that I'm interested in are these guys in common. So these two are what I want. Okay, so there's my common code. Now, in order to use RMI, there's a few things we have to do. First of all, we have to um, specify um, in the interfaces that we're remoting the fact that we are remoting them. So what we need to do is add on to here extends remote and remote is actually defined in java.rmi so I need to import that package which Eclipse helps me do quite handily and then the other thing I have to do is every method that's going to be remoted has to um, report the fact that it's it's possible it would imp uh, throw these exceptions so I'm gonna have remote throws remote exception here and once again Eclipse will help me import the proper package here automatically. Okay. And there's one other detail I have to take care of. Any object that I'm going to pass as a um, parameter has to um, implement the interface serializable. Okay. Implements. Okay, and once again, Eclipse will help me do that. That's in Java.io. Okay, so that's all I need to do to um, make my um, interfaces and uh, parameter code uh, Java RMI ready. Okay, now I'm going to create a uh, second. Java project in Eclipse, and this is going to be my hold my server code, so I'm going to call it simple RMI server. And since it relies on the common code, I'm going to make sure that my Eclipse project references this on the build path. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is just reuse as much of that code of our original project as possible, so I'm going to import the um, server wrapper. sure this is in the right package. Okay. Okay, in order for my um, server to be um, used over RMI, I need to extend this class defined by RMI to inherit all the um, RMI stuff I need under the hood. So um, for most servers you're going to implement or extend, sorry, uh, unicast remote object. Okay, and Eclipse helps me pick up that package which is Java RMI server. Okay, and then once again I have to um, denote that this throws 
remote exception. Okay, and another thing I need to do is add a default constructor. Okay, and once again, Eclipse helps me do that automatically. Now what I need to do is I need to create the code that actually bootstraps the process. So when the server gets um, executed, the first thing it needs to do is contact the RMI registry and register the object that it's hosting um, via some type of string name that we're going to get it. So we need to add a main routine to this class. Okay, and we're going to put this code in a try catch because we will need to do that. And what we can do is create a registry instance as follows. Okay, and these classes are defined in various packages. Okay, so this gets me a handle to the registry. And now what I need to do is bind an instance of the object in the registry. So I'm going to just give it the name my server. And then I need to actually create an object. And then I'll print out a message just to let the user know. It's up and running. Okay. All right. So that's all I need to do to instantiate this object remotely.